What's going on? I am your boy, the architect, and we are here on season two, Eyes Wide, Ears Wide, a Poetry Cafe. And I'm ready to get started. If y'all ready to get started, let me hear you say yeah. yeah. I said, if y'all ready to get started, let me hear you say yeah. yeah. Say eyes wide. Eyes wide. Ears wider. Ears wider. Well, we gonna kick it off with the first guest. Put your hands together for Akira K. Today. What's going on? I need a little bit more energy than that. Can y'all give me something? Yes, yes. All right, so the first piece I'm gonna do for you today is called The Curse of Melanin. Chicago, my city, I need you. My birthplace, I see you. This pain I feel is a reflection of what you've been through. Great fires and mass murders losing hundreds of your children as the years go by and I wonder, how do you not die? Your body bleeds from the inside because the three million plus skin cells that your skin hide can't seem to get along long enough for you to be okay. Constant outpour of the sorrows, these children of yours scream, but who can help them? You try to stop your veins from bleeding with me every single day. Your arteries are the streets to me and your children of darker skin are suffering tirelessly, but Chicago, please tell me, what am I supposed to do about it? What are we supposed to do about it? These marks, bruises, scars, these blocks are broken. Black down brick by brick into wedges, like segments of the same damn song that keeps playing on the loop, still saying the same thing. Don't shoot, I wanna grow up. My sister struggles to hustle for the babies they have to feed after struggling for so many things that keep getting taken away from them. They make do with what they got, but they don't know their own worth because that was never a lesson they were given the chance to learn. My brothers, please, don't shoot. I just want to walk down the street. My brothers, please, don't shoot. Help take care of your families. They would rather have you home than in jail or in a casket, honestly. Toting guns with gang bangers and bangers for fake gang credentials shouldn't be your way of life. That don't make you a man. My sisters, we love you. My brothers, we love you too. So tell me, what did you do wrong. Was it the melanin in your skin that made those pigs look at you like a sin? I mean, what is it? What crime have you committed? What grievances have you perpetuously inflicted on the systematic infriction of a government to make them want to take you away from me, from us? They made you leave your kids, your wife, your mother, your siblings, your family. Apparently, the appearance of melanin is a crime and a curse because the first thing they aim for is death and the finest works, all because our skin is darker than theirs. <laughs> but I'm not saying that all white people or cops are racist, but for the ones that are, yes, I'm talking about you. Now back to the real issue. Was he too black? Was his nose too wide? Was he walking down the street with a pack of Skittles and an Arizona tea in his hand? Did he forget to signal while switching lanes? I mean, what was it? His coffee was too black, so they added a little cream to make it lighter. The real vanilla bean was too black, so they dyed it to make it whiter. Our life is harder because our skin is darker, but what about the land of the free? The land of hopes, dreams, and equality, right? Nah, this is a land of greed, the same land that took my brother away from me because there wasn't enough cream in his coffee. The same land that shot an apple off the family tree and rained down on the leaves with the rain that bleeds with the blood of an innocent man who didn't do shit wrong. Now there is a wound that will never heal. Kind of like a scab you can never peel. And I wonder how this world will treat his children. But today and from this day forward, my melanin will no longer be a curse. This will no longer be the worst thing about me why my country hates me and my skin because they want to be me. So this is to all my brothers and sisters with the same color skin as me. Keep fighting. Stay fighting. Till the last breath leaves your body. Oh, and by the way, I like my people how I like my coffee. Black. Being solo. Okay. So this second poem that I'm going to do for you guys today is titled ugly black woman and it's an inspiration in light of 
everything that we've been dealing with in this country. And black people are beautiful, black women are beautiful, black men are beautiful, and we are royalty, we are power, we are love, we are strength, and we are great. So I just want people to know that. For everybody who thinks differently, I want you to know that. And the title of this poem is called Ugly Black Woman. Love is light, but light is lost as America tries to rewrite the flaws in its system that we are trying to fight. History is not our story because his story isn't the same as ours, you see. In his story, it says that in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, but he doesn't write down that in 1493, Columbus stole all he could see. We talk about how our story is distorted, but America's story is missing some pieces because he wouldn't let my ink dry in time enough for publishing, so it got smeared, deleted, erased from school books, all because the wrong crook had the right pen in his hand. My pen. Me. But I will not be silent. We will not be quiet while the melanin in our chambers and on our ballpoint tip will fight to the death until my ink runs dry and when my head turns cold, my power will never grow old for my people as long as they continue to use it. Because in this day, day and age, in today's society, we are objectified, ostracized, and desensitized in a society that wants our young black powerful mind to fail. Failure bleeds through his feet to attempt to demolish me when my personality fights her hardest to remain free in this ethnically decoded system called society. In the blink of an eye, another young black soul dies, all because of a wolf named Uncle Sam in a sheep's disguise whose sole purpose is to feed us lives so that we may materialize our children to be a statistic. But hey, who am I to judge? In a world that refuses to show love as we attempt to resurrect what was our history and try to believe that we're not living it again. Just because you can't see the chains doesn't make them any less heavy as the blindfolds of America's society become more and more shady. But for what reason? We aren't just a bunch of niggas, so please don't call me a Brady. You see, it's such a shame that we have to teach our babies how to drop surrender and remain completely still to avoid getting killed, all because the title of ugly black woman is not a title we choose to instill. You can hear the crying of a broken heart, dribbling the eye across the prism of a clock, releasing the vision of your mind to match the ticking of this talk, just to unlock the sounds of freedom that has crawled under a rock. Who would have thought that we as a generation can pave ways for this nation and see this infiltration to stop this corrupt phase before our glory days fade away right along with the day that we decided to stop chasing you and I, T-Y, please. Help us find our way so that the title of Ugly Black Woman ends today. Thank you. All right, so we got a familiar face. Probably seen her last season. We got her to kick off this season and do the first episode. So I want y'all to put y'all hands together again for my daughter, Makaya Jackson. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm KK, back to season two. My poem is called A Person, and it's inspired on election day, and I was just basically thinking about how, well, never mind, <laughs> I'm gonna keep that to myself. But um, it's called A Person. I am a person with a beating heart, an aching heart, a person who has not yet seen all the world, but knows what's wrong with it. A person who cries, a person who smiles, a person who laughs, a person who fears her future, a person who wants better for the future kids she does not want, a person who should be treated as a person. I am not an animal. I am not your food. I am not your fantasy. I am not your object. I am human. I am my own person with my own mind, my own heart, my own goals. Why? Why do they want to rip that from me? Why did I think that my parents could have all the answers when they're just as confused as me? Why couldn't they have all the answers? Why couldn't you tell me the truth? Why was I raised up to be hopeful, happy, to be human when people like me are just kicked down, beaten, treated as less than? Why me? Why can't I be treated as a human, as a person? Thank you. Next up, performing virtually from Cape Town, South Africa. Give it up for Vice. I'm 
Why don't you fix all the problems you're complaining about? Why don't you shut the fuck up instead of running your mouth? And if they refuse to help you, nigga, do it without. You don't need them anyway. I choose myself over any nigga any day. Niggas know that I don't play. If you ain't standing with me, then you standing in my way. I don't beg nobody to stay, don't give a fuck about what they say. You ain't worthy of my time if you can tell it to me straight. Fuck any nigga celebrating your mistakes. Everybody go through shit and everybody got a plate. So I'm just out here trying to make the world a better place. I love everybody, everybody loves to hate. King of the jungle, you never catch me with a snake. It puts me in a state where niggas proud to be fake. But I just concentrate on all the things that await. Before you become great, your ego gotta deflate. I got bigger things to catch, my nigga, you're just a bait. Before you open doors, you gotta get past the gate. I know way too many niggas out here forcing the fame. Rap niggas weak as fuck, how you sounding the same? Lil' this, lil' that, what's going on with your name? You fucking up the culture, you ain't changing the game. Thank you.